so welcome to this video about Saturn's rings. What I wanted to have a look at was, has a comet ever hit Saturn and its rings? Well, first, if we remember from one of the previous videos about planetary rings, which you can check at the top, most of the outer planets and some of the, well, quite a lot of objects in the solar system have their own ring systems. Saturn's are the largest and the most obvious ones, but Jupiter, Uranus, and Neptune, they all have their own ring structures as well. But what we want to focus on actually for this particular video is Jupiter's rings. So Jupiter's, they're quite faint, they're quite small in comparison to, to, to Saturn's, but they're quite important in the context of thinking about, you know, has a comet actually hit Saturn before? So in 1994, comet Shoemaker-Levy 9 collided with Jupiter. And lots of people, lots of amateur astronomers were able to watch this. It was quite a spectacular event. And here you've got that comet being pulled apart into various different pieces. So the, the tidal forces from Jupiter, as that comet approached, pulled it all to pieces. And then it impacted Jupiter. So this short video in infrared shows you know, those parts actually impacting Jupiter, which is quite exciting. And again, you've got the various different parts of that comet along the bottom as it was tidally pulled apart. So they then impacted Jupiter one after another. As exciting as that was, it was actually the ring system that offered more clues, specifically for Saturn, actually. So when the ring system was looked at for Jupiter, after this comet, comet had impacted, it caused this rippling effect. So that comet has come out of plane, so it's kind of off axis from the actual ring system, and it's caused a ripple effect in the ring. So at the bottom, you've kind of got a simulation there, and then the top two are images. And they're not that clear. Again, the ring system's not as bright as Saturn's, but there is a clear rippling effect there that was due to the comet. Now, interestingly, we, when Cassini was actually orbiting Saturn, the same ripples were seen in its ring system. So it's not that particularly obvious here, but a lot of those will look like um, rings or bands around there are actually these similar sorts of ripples this kind of corrugation to the rings. So Saturn's got a similar structure there that Jupiter had after a cometary impact, which is quite interesting. So these particular ripples that are caused by a comet that's impacting kind of off axis, it causes these ripples and then in time, they become more tightly wound. So in time, they wind up more and more and more. What that means is if you can look at how tight they're wound, you can essentially rewind back to the point of impact. Now, when that's done for Saturn and those particular ripples that were found, it suggests that a comet hit Saturn and its rings in about 1983. Now, no one actually saw that happen because at the time, Saturn was not in a observable position from Earth. We couldn't actually see it and we didn't have any spacecraft there at, at the time. But these ripples suggest that a comet did impact in 1983 because it's the same sort of structures that we had for Jupiter. But seeing as we had an impact in the 1990s for Jupiter, 1980s for Saturn, can we expect any future cometary impacts going forward? Well, we don't know, but it would be quite exciting to see, you know, especially now that we have more spacecraft out in space, we actually may even have a spacecraft orbiting a planet when it happens. That would be extremely exciting, um, but we'll have to wait and see. So thank you for watching.